Hello, and welcome to this how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you will learn the recommended approach to building an attach action page within a business object. A business object must be attached to the application before it can be used by a process to automate a function. When an object launches an application, it is automatically attached to that application. Objects that do not launch the application must first check to see if it is connected to it, and if it's not connected, attach itself. If an object attempts to attach to an application when it is already attached, an error will result. Therefore, when building an attach action, it is best practice to first detect if the object is already attached to the application. A best practice attach action looks like this. First, check to see if the session is connected. If the session is connected, the workflow ends. If the session is not connected, use a navigation step to attach to the application when required. By using this approach, every other action within the object can call the attach page as its first stage to ensure the action is ready to work with the application. We will start by bringing all of our actions that we will use onto the flowchart area. Begin by bringing a read object onto the flowchart. This will read the status of the connection. We will then need a collection object to store the connection status in. After we have a collection object, we will use a decision object to decide what will happen if we're connected or if we're not connected. If the application is not connected, the workflow will proceed to a navigation object where we will attach to the application. If the application is already connected, we just end the workflow. You will need to place two anchor objects so we will be able to link to the end object. Next, select the link option and link our objects together. When you get to the decision object, remember your first link will follow the path if the decision is true. The second link from the decision object will follow the path if the decision is false. If it is true, we are going to link to the end object. If it is false, we link straight to our navigate object and from the navigate object to the end object. We will now define our data object which will store our connection status. Double-click the data object and enter the name. Connected status. Add a description for your object. We will type hold data as a result of the read object. Select from the data type drop down menu flag. This will be a flag. Our initial value is going to be false. And then click the OK button. Now double click on the read object. Let's name the read object get connection status. Add a description looks at the application and determines if connected or not. Select and drag the name of your application into the element field. From the data dropdown, select is connected. The data we are looking for is a flag. Click and drag our flag from the Data Explorer on the right hand side into the Store In field. 
and then click OK. Double click the decision icon. Type connected as the name. Add the description. Is the application connected true or false? Select our flag in the data items column and drag it onto the expressions canvas. Type an equal sign and the word true to complete the expression. Then click OK. If we are already connected to the application, the path follows the link down to the end object and this action is complete. If we are not connected, then we follow the workflow to the navigate object. Let's open the navigate object and fill out the properties. Type attach as the name and attach to the application as the description. Next, select the application from the Application Explorer on the left-hand side and drag to the Element field. Choose from the Action drop-down list, Attach. You can use either the Process Name field or the Windows Title field as your input parameter. We're going to use the Process Name field. If you use this, you type in the name without any spaces between. If you enter the Windows Titled field instead, you can have spaces, but be sure to have a wildcard at the end because this could also refer to the Centrix Data Solutions login screen. Remember to save your attach object before trying to run it to check for errors. Once it is saved, let's run the workflow. And the first time through, we're going to run it when the application is already attached. As you can see, it follows our path. Now we'll run it again when our application is not attached and it follows the workflow through the navigation to attach. During this video, you have learned the Blue Prism's best practice for creating an attach action page within an object. The best practice method is to check at the start of each action to see if the session is connected. If the session is connected, the workflow ends. If the session is not connected, use a navigation step to attach when required. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the Attach Action page or any other Blue Prism product, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. Visit Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.